yogis it's day number eight for yoga poses and today we're going to continue working on the variations for down dogs so the next one is puppy so puppy is a good one if you have wrist and shoulder issues or you don't want to go into child's pose it's a little easier to kind of move into transitions from um, going from plank to puppy or going into um, some other moves so let's do puppy today Come to our mat. Hope you can see. Move this down. There. Puppy. So again, coming onto our hands and knees for tabletop. And with puppy, the easiest way to do this is just to drop down to the forearms. Hips stay up. So this one, the hips stay up. And we just drop down to the forearms. So you will feel a stretch. And if you're very flexible, Maybe you can get the chest down to the ground, but for myself, I have tight shoulders, so I just drop my head down, take a few breaths here. A little bit different than child's pose, because child's pose, we have our knees onto, um, heels onto our thighs, or heels onto the hips, but this is puppy. You're also putting, pressing into the pituitary gland or the third eye. And you feel a stretch in the arms and shoulders and the armpits. And like I said, if you are very flexible, you can get down to the chest. And then when you're ready, just coming up. So that's puppy. So another alternative to down dog, when I teach my vinyasa flows, I prefer puppy over child's pose, but tomorrow we'll go over child's pose as well. All right, see you soon. Bye.